Hello there everybody, I'm meteorologist Cassie Nall and we have the potential to see some strong to severe storms moving through the Sun Coast throughout the overnight time frame. Here's the reason why we think that this storm system coming through might be a little bit stronger than the one that we saw on Friday. First of all, our overnight low temperatures are only going to fall down into the mid 60s. That's relatively warm for this time of year. Not to mention the moisture content is higher in the atmosphere than it was a little bit earlier this week. What that means is the atmosphere is just more unstable, creates instability, allows the showers and storms to start to get fired up across the area. On top of that, this low pressure system is developing in the western Gulf and is then going to track over the northern Gulf of Mexico, staying out over the waters. The closer you are to that main area of low pressure, the energy source, the more of an impact that you'll feel from the system as it moves through. The storm system on Friday moved right along the northern Gulf shore and then exited up through the southeast. This system appears like it's going to be moving through the Gulf waters and actually come right across north central Florida. What that means is that we'll be in closer proximity to that main source of energy. On top of the added instability and the track being more favorable for the strong storms, this system is also has a more favorable backing from the upper levels of the atmosphere. The factors are coming together a little bit better for this system than they did on Friday. And that's why we see the potential to see the strong to even damaging winds coming through or possibly water spouts and isolated tornadoes. Because of this, the best thing that you can do as the viewer is to be prepared to receive the warnings should they be issued in your area. That means before you go to bed tonight, put that NOAA weather radio on your bed stand. Have it ready so that if that alarm sounds and a tornado warning is issued for your area, for an example, you know that you have to get out of bed, move to the lowest level, most interior room of your home, and stay away from doors and windows. Like I said, we just want you to be prepared on the chance that this ends up happening. Also, you can stay tuned to SNN. Our weather team will be here throughout the overnight time frame covering the storm system as it moves through the state. The best timing it looks like as of now to see these storms rolling in will begin around 1 a.m. and the strongest squall line will come through probably between about 4 and 7 a.m. By 8 or 9, the skies will start to clear and we'll be left with a breezy, calm Sunday afternoon. But first, we got to get this through the severe weather potential overnight tonight, so make sure you stay tuned to SNN for the very latest update, updates and forecast details.